Okay guys, I'm going to show you um, the main uses of Lucky Patcher. Well, the main three uses, reasons why I use it. It's used for much more than that. But here are the three main ones. So when you first install Lucky Patcher, you must have a rooted phone. You must press toggles and make sure Google billing emulation is checked. You must press toolbox and patch to Android here in purple. Your phone will patch reboot and then spend a long time building the app list and after you've done I've already done it so it's not here it appears up here somewhere you have to press this which happens individually as well but as a generally for all the apps you support patch for in-app and LVL emulation which should appear in toggles or the toolbox if you haven't done it so once you've done them three things, you can now do this. Use number one. I have a game here my mate paid and sent me, but because I never bought it, it won't let me use it. Because it can't verify the license. So we open up Lucky Patcher, find the app in question. Hold and go remove license verification, all told, top box checked, apply and let's do it, let it do its thing. After it's done, launch. And as you can see, we can now play the game after the data download. Second use it has is, say on the Play Store, we download a free app like Root Checker. That has in-app purchases. We can use Lucky Patcher now to upgrade to Pro is about one pound fifty, but with Lucky Patcher, it's free of charge, and we've just unlocked that for nothing. And the third use I use it for is for the in-app billing. Okay, my video just crashed. Then <laughs> the third use is for the in-app billing emulation. So if we take like Balloon Tower Defense Five. Yeah, then we can go to the store. As you can see, I'm rank one. And we can rank up. This is 99p. And with anything, cash, jewels, gold, XP. If it costs money, you can use Lucky Patcher to get it for free. do this all day if you want we'll have some money 